Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, we are going to do a makeup look. For those of you who've been following me on this channel, you know that we don't do things the ordinary way. Instead of buying a spoolie, which is very cheap, by the way, I normally use an old mascara wand. And in this case, I'm using this really dried out mascara wand. Don't use a wet wand for this. So I'm just using it to brush my eyebrows, basically, before I go in with the eyebrow pencil, which I am doing right now. So I'm just using a dark brown pencil. I got this pencil off of Jumia. Um, if you haven't seen my Jumia uh, unboxings and all that, I'll link them in the description box below. So I'm just using a pencil to outline my brows before I fill them in. And then after filling them in, I'm definitely going to go back with that same mascara wand. Or if you have a spoolie, you can always go in with a spoolie and brush it again. So eyebrows define the face. So never ever neglect your eyebrows. You can leave every other makeup thing, but do not leave your eyebrows. So the next thing that I normally do is that I normally use concealer just to define my brows and to make them more visible and pop more. So I just apply the concealer all around the eyebrows, not on the eyebrow, but around it. And I'm just using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Fawn to do this. So if you definitely want your eyebrows to be more visible, you can definitely do this step, which is just like highlighting your brows. Next, I'm just going to go in with more concealer, but a different type of concealer. And I'm just using this Revlon concealer in the shade medium. It's definitely not my shade of concealer. It's way too light. And that's why I choose to use it before I apply my foundation. Because if I'm to use it after I apply my foundation, it will just make my face too light. So I'm just applying it under my eyes and I'm going in with a beauty blender just to blend it all out and to make it a nice even surface. Now, the main purpose of a concealer, for those of you who don't know, is just to hide dark circles and any discolorations. So you have different types of concealers for different issues, like redness. Uh, mine is just dark circles, basically. So definitely use a wet beauty blender just so that it can be evenly spread. Next, I'm just doing my eyeshadow and as you can see, I'm just highlighting my brows fast using an eyeshadow. I know I highlighted them using a concealer, but now I'm highlighting using an eyeshadow. And I'm using a very, very light, white, bright, shiny eyeshadow to do this. And I'm just applying it like on the tail of the eyeshadow, of the brow, on the tail of the brow just to highlight that area and to make it more visible, make the brow pop more, make the tail more visible. And yeah, I'm just using an eyeshadow brush and... Yeah, I can't remember. I used, I think I was using the Maybelline uh, Burgundy Bar palette. Yeah, I think, I believe those, those were the colors I was using. Uh, yeah, so it's just a shiny metallic color. And for the corners of my eye, I'm just using like a dark brown top color. It's really dark brown and it's toppy like grayish top. And this color, I'm just applying it only in the crease of my eye and the outer corner of my eye, like not in the middle and in the center or anywhere else, just in the crease of my eye and the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just going to go in again with another lighter top color. And this one, I'm, I'm applying it on the actual eyelid, all over the eyelid. Yeah. Of course, we can't fail to blend this all out. And I'm just using like that lighter um, color that I used to highlight my brow just to blend in the outer corners together with the dark toppy one. So I'm just blending it in properly so that at least it looks blended and not harsh. Harsh lines look really bad when it comes to makeup. So make sure that you're blending your makeup properly. I'm 
I'm also going in with a white matte shade of eyeshadow in the inner corner of my eye only just to make my eye more open yeah appear more open so I'm just applying this white shade it's a very very white shade in the inner corner of my eye as you can see I'm just dabbing it in Now, for those of you who don't know, 2021 is the year of eyeliner and dramatic eyeliner, we've been told. So, let's just do the dramatic eyeliner. Although my eyeliner is not usually really dramatic, but eyeliner is really in this year and I think it's going to stay for a couple of years. So, if you have eyeliner, apply it. I just normally apply a wing, basically, just a small, normal wing. Yeah. And I normally use the Maybelline eyeliner. Hyper precise all day eyeliner in the shade black. So when you're drawing your wing, you want to draw the outline first and then fill it in later. Because if you just draw while filling it in, you might create a mess. Now we are done with that part. As you can see, the eyeliner makes a huge difference to the eye. And just ignore the fact that they are not too very symmetrical. I've popped in some eyelashes and I've just used half lashes that I've basically cut a whole lash into half um and next as you can see i'm actually doing my lower eyelashes and i normally use mascara to do my lower lashes it makes a huge difference guys so if you have the time and the energy and the mascara why not do your lower lashes so definitely it makes a huge difference now this is the maybelline and i'm just showing you a foundation that i'm going to use this is the shade 352 and this foundation as i mentioned in a previous video this foundation is actually darker than my skin tone i know it appears lighter but it's because it's like a cool undertoned uh, foundation but it's actually darker than my skin tone and it used to cut, make me look like a worn a mask uh, and i'm just going to use it as a bronzer shade around my forehead and now I'm just going to take this other one, which is the warm coconut. Now this warm coconut is the closest Maybelline shade I have to my skin tone. The only problem is that it's actually not my shade, but it's the closest one. So we're just going to mix the two and I'm just going to apply it all over my face. As you're going to see, it normally looks like a mask, but it's the closest one I've ever found to my skin tone because all others are usually so stark different. So I normally just use a flat topped brush to just uh, press it in to create a full coverage. Um, if you don't know, sometimes uh, your application method can either create full coverage or medium coverage. So it's not just the foundation itself that is full coverage or medium coverage. So there are some that are actually full coverage, but if you apply it differently, maybe using a beauty blender or something, it won't be full coverage. So if you want to make it full coverage, make sure that you're stippling it with a brush like this, like the way I'm pressing it in. Yes, I know that's too much product, but I'm going in again with another concealer. Now, if you want a flawless face, the more, the better anyway. But don't take that advice. They normally say the lesser, the better. But I just feel like using a bit of... Um, I feel like that foundation has actually hidden all the concealer that I used. So I'm just using this for color correction or something of the sort. And I'm just using this Maybelline concealer. Yeah, so I've applied it in those areas. And then I'm going to use... This one is now my concealer shade, like compared to the other Revlon one. So I'm just using a brush to just press it in until it blends well and even. 